Hello and welcome. Welcome to week one of our Down by the Sea Blankets. Um, I'm on a very blustery Brighton seafront. I'm having to wear this uh, crocheted hat to stop my hair blowing everywhere. Um, I'm on Brighton Beach by the historic bandstand. Um, you might have seen this bandstand in some photos that I've shared in the lead up to this crochet along. Um, and it has in fact inspired um, some of the rounds that we're going to be crocheting in week one. So here I am. Um, I was last here a few weeks ago doing the beautiful photos that I managed to get on a very sunny um, still morning very different today hope you can hear me hope there's not too much wind noise but salty and I really want to welcome you it's always so lovely doing a crochet along knowing that there's going to be lots of you all around the world crocheting this blanket together so as you can see yes it's much windier than when I was here a few weeks ago um, but if I just tilt the camera you can see underneath this beautiful beautiful bandstand um, I think it's originally made in 1884, but it was fully restored to this beautiful condition that you see now um, in 2009. So uh, yeah, about uh, 13 years ago it was restored and it really is a fantastic sight on Brighton Beach Seafront. So I've designed two colourways of this blanket. We've got Brighton Beach, which is where I'm at now, and this is not too far from home. So this one's easy for me to, um, to do lots of uh, footage and photos from. But I've done an alternative Bournemouth Beach, which you can see here. Well, thanks Salty, there you go, perfect move. Um, a different colour, a different vibe. They're very different. Two seaside um, towns, cities uh, on the south coast of England, not too far from each other. It's a couple of, couple of hours drive for us to get to Bournemouth. Um, Brighton's got pebble beaches, Bournemouth has sand, um, the beautiful colourful pink uh, and lots of rainbow coloured beach huts in Bournemouth I like. Brighton's got beach huts too but not as pretty as the Bournemouth ones. They're both great places. Um, and this week we begin with carousels and bandstands. There's a, uh, ooh, like a little uh, a buggy going along the pebbles there. You might've heard that. But Bournemouth has the big wheel, um, which this can represent for us on the Bournemouth colorway. And also it um, has a bandstand too, but not right on the beach. That is more on, um, within the lower gardens. So um, I can show you some footage. I've done some um, video footage along with some music that uh, my son composed previously um, so to give you a really good uh, feeling and idea of, um, of the things that have inspired this blanket and what we'll be crocheting in week one. We are going to go up the big wheel, okay? Have a look. We are going to go up on the observation wheel. We are at the top 
and it has started to rain, which maybe you think is a shame. It is because I'm getting a little bit wet, but it means we get to see a rainbow. stand in the gardens behind me. So whether you're doing the Brighton Beach colourway or the Bournemouth Beach colourway or maybe you are doing your own colourway, I always encourage people to use their own yarns and colours um, whenever possible. So whichever one you're crocheting, um, enjoy it. Remember we've got the Facebook group so there's plenty of help um, for you in there. So if you get stuck at all, please do ask questions in the Facebook group. Um, I've done lots of video tutorials for this uh, blanket over on my YouTube channel. All the links are in my website. So uh, it's six weeks long. This is week one. Um, over the next six weeks, I will be posting a new blog post on my website um, with links to the pattern that you can buy as a, a standalone printer friendly version from my Ravelry. You only pay once and I upload um, the next week um, each week so um, you only pay once but the pattern will also be available for free on the website lots of step-by-step -step photos links to the YouTube videos um, and also each week I'll be popping in to chat to you and talking all things down by the sea so for now there's lots of photos to get you started um, on my website um, I think just get crocheting, start enjoying it and uh, I really hope it's going to be a lovely coastal crochet journey.